Welcome everyone, my name is Jessica and this is Simple, Cheap and Easy DIYs. Make sure you watch my last episode after you watch this episode. Start off by taking this wooden birdhouse that I got at Dollar Tree and using my apple barrel paint in the color Snow White and Burnt Umber. I'm going to mix those two until it is a light purplish gray consistency and I'm going to paint the entire birdhouse. Next I'm going to take this Bless This Nest sign as well as these transfer stickers and I'm going to be using the little bird so peeling the back of the transfer sticker I'm going to place that right above this and I'm going to press down firmly make sure that it sticks really good and then once it's um, fully stuck I'm going to gently pull up the plastic leaving just the sticker behind. And this is what it will look like once you have your little bird on the sign. Now I was originally going to leave the frame on, but I decided to go ahead and remove the frame and we'll just be using the um, cardboard portion for this. And what I'm going to do is around the edges, I'm actually going to be using my apple barrel paint in the color jet black. And I'm just going to put a small border of black around the entire sign. Next, taking another one of the little bird transfer stickers, I'm going to apply it to the birdhouse to where it looks like it's setting on the little perch. And again, I'm just going to smooth it out really good, make sure it's fully stuck, and then gently remove the plastic off. Once you have the plastic removed off the birdhouse, this is what it will look like. Next, I'm going to take this candlestick holder and I'm going to coat it in a layer of this white glue. You can also use Mod Podge. It just helps the paint stick better. And I'm going to be using this Apple Barrel Paint Jet Black. And this is what it will look like once I have the paint fully on. The glue just kind of helps it look brighter. Now taking a little bit of hot glue, I'm going to glue it on the candlestick and then I'm going to glue the Bless This Nest sign directly onto the candlestick, making sure I have it centered. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to apply more glue to the back just to ensure that it does have a good hold. Next, I'm going to apply hot glue to the top of the candlestick holder. And once I have that glue all the way around, I'm gonna take my little birdhouse and just make sure that I center it and line it up with the sign as well as center it on the candlestick. Once I'm happy with that placement, here's your completed project. Project, I'm gonna start off by taking this You, Me, and Tea picture frame that I got at Dollar Tree, as well as this nautical rope. And I'm just gonna hot glue the nautical rope all the way around the picture frame to give it more of a farmhouse feel. And I'm just gonna cut the end off, glue that on, and then once that's all trimmed up and completed, your first simple project will be complete, and this is what it will look like. For the second project, I'm going to take this little wire teapot that I got at Goodwill for $1.91 and I'm going to be taking this moss sheet that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be cutting it into two sections that we're going to be using for the inside of the teapot. So one of the sections, I'm just going to fold that and place that on one side of the teapot and then repeat that for the second side. Now you can use any filling that you would like, but this is what I chose to use uh, for my project. Once I have that all in, this is what it will look like. Now for the handle, I'm going to take some nautical rope and I'm using my hot glue. I'm just going to hot glue each of the sides of the nautical rope to each of the sides of the little teapot. With the second piece of nautical rope, I'm going to glue that around the rim of the teapot just to finish it off and I'm going to wrap that all the way around and cut off any excess. And this is what it will look like once you have the nautical rope in place. Now you can go ahead and start filling it in. I'm going to use these spring succulents that I got at Dollar Tree, a purple, a light blue, a light purple and an orange color but again you can fill this with anything that you would like and I'm just gonna take these and then start placing them inside of the little teapot
Once you have all your succulents in place, this is what the second project will look like completed. For this third project, I'm going to take these foam counting squares and I'm just going to start breaking them up. And then you'll just get however many that you're needing um, to use to spell out your words. And taking this Waverly chalk paint in the color white, I'm just going to coat all of my squares with uh, one coat of paint. And once it dries, this is what they will look like. Next, taking these letter stickers that I got at Dollar Tree, I'm just going to start spelling out the word spring and the word hello. And this is what the third project will look like. I'm going to start off by taking the St. Patrick's Day sign that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to flip it over and then start removing the backing, which is the ribbon that holds it together. And I'm going to sand any pieces that are not smooth. You can um, sand off the glitter if you'd like, but I'm just going to use the back. One of the clovers I'm going to paint in the Waverly Chalk paint in white. One in this mossy green. One in antique parchment and then the last one in territorial beige. Once I have those fully painted and dried, this is what they will look like. And then I'm gonna take the letters, uh, wood letters from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna paint L and C in the mossy green and U and K in the chalk paint in the white. Taking some jute twine, I'm just gonna wrap that around the bottom of each of the clovers. And I'm gonna do that on all four of the clovers. This is what it'll look like once you have the jute twine applied to all the stems. Next, taking the wood letters, I'm just going to glue opposite colors to um, each of the clovers as you can see me doing here. Now taking more of my jute twine, I'm just going to glue around each of the clovers and glue the jute twine around the clovers as well. And I'm going to repeat that on all four clovers. And this is what it will look like once you have them all complete. And then for the next step, I'm gonna be taking the tumbling tower blocks. Now these came in this brown color, uh, but if you have the regular wood colors, you can paint them brown. And I'm just gonna glue one of the clover to each of the tumbling tower blocks. And here's today's completed project. I'm gonna start off by taking this five by seven frame that I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna apply hot glue all over the bottom to ensure that there is no gaps. Once I have that done, I'm gonna take a bag of sand from Dollar Tree as well, and I'm just gonna fill that up. Next, I'm gonna take this little sand castle that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance, and I'm gonna paint the tops in this blue cotton and camo pink, or cameo pink, sorry. Once I have that all painted, I'm just going to place that in the little Zen garden in the back corner. Next, I'm going to take this little mermaid that I also got at Hobby Lobby's uh, clearance section. I'm just going to place that in the opposite side of the little Zen garden. 
Once I have that in place, I'm gonna take these bracelets that I got at Dollar Tree, one in pink and one in blue. And I'm just gonna cut the strings off since I'm just gonna be using the beads. And I'm gonna make a little walkway alternating blue and pink beads. Next, I'm just gonna place a couple pieces of sea glass that I had on hand, and then one of these little tea light candles in the opposite corner, and just kind of move the sand around it. I'm leaving a little bit of space between the frame. So I'm gonna be using these little blue rocks that I also got at Dollar Tree. Now to make the little rake, I'm going to take one of these uh, skewers that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut off about a 5 inch piece. You can make this however big that you would like. So that's the part that we're going to be using for the handle. And then I'm going to take this craft stick and just cut off about a half inch to one inch um, little piece and that's going to be the bottom of the rake. Then I'm going to take um, that same little skewer and I'm going to cut three little half inch pieces. I'm going to glue each of those onto the craft stick to actually form the little rake um, pieces. Once I have these three little pieces glued on, then I'm going to take the skewer and glue that onto this craft stick to complete the rake. And this is what it will look like once it's completed. And then I'm gonna take this metallic gold paint and just paint the rank in that color. And here's today's completed little miniature Zen garden. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up.
Thank you.